We can see from our results that a square pulse is not going to work because the spectrum is spread out over more frequencies than we want. Can we come up with another source waveform where we can control and limit its spectrum better? One option is to use a source that is commonly used in computational electromagnetics, and that is a Gaussian modulating a sinusoid. In this case, the time waveform has the following form. It's sine 2 pi f naught t minus t naught, and that multiplied by a Gaussian, e to the minus t minus t naught over t half, and then all of that is squared. It looks like this in time. If I were to plot versus time here, I could put a Gaussian, trying to make it symmetrical, and then we'll have the sinusoid, something like that. And let me get a different color because this width is 2 times t half. And at this amplitude, at this width, the amplitude is 0.368 if we assume that this is a maximum amplitude of 1. So t half is measured relative to t naught. So this is where t naught occurs. That's at the center of the Gaussian. In the frequency domain, we would expect the Gaussian modulating a sinusoid to look like this. So this is versus frequency f is going to be a Gaussian centered at f naught, the center frequency of the sinusoid. So it's going to look like this. And here, the width of the Gaussian in the frequency domain is 2 over pi times t half. So this occurs here. This would be at f naught plus 1 over pi t half, and this is f naught minus 1 over pi t half. What's nice about this source is that we can choose a center frequency for the sinusoid, f naught, and we can also choose how wide the Gaussian is in the frequency domain and so we can limit its spectrum to a specific range. Let's give this source a try for our radar for avalanches. See if you can figure out what f naught, t naught, and also t half should be if we want our source to have spectra from about 902 to 928 megahertz.